You may have read a lot about ancient India, may have heard a lot about ancient India, but might not have seen it. After all, what did India look like before independence? How was the living and attire of those people? However, we all know that the erstwhile people led life not of pomp and show, but of basic needs. It means that expenditure was limited to the basic requirements. That's why the living standard was simple, even of the richest of the rich. British quit India, but they taught the lesson of the leading life full of pompousness. However, we have brought some pictures related to ancient India for you. These pics will apprise you of ancient India face to face. So let's begin. Friends, this is the picture of the year 1890 when the snake charmers used to live on demonstrating the snake games on the street. However, snake catching has now been banned in India. First from the left is the first lady doctor of India, Anandi Bai Joshi. This photo belongs to her days of studies. And in this picture, the elderly person is none other than the last Mughal emperor, Badshah Bahadur Shah Zafar. This photo belongs to 1858 when he was being taken to Rangoon. This is the photograph of Indian pilots who flew aeroplanes on behalf of Britain during the Second World War. This photograph traces back to the year 1903. This hefty guy is an executioner. See how different was the attire of hangman of those days as if a king was ready for the battle. And this is the picture of Lahore which was a pride of India once upon a time. So many revolutions took place here. It was also a prime center for education that time. This is the picture of 1938 depicting the sports day celebration of that time in which girls have participated. See their attire totally different from today's times. This picture is quite blurred but still it is an important document now. This photo clicked in 1891 belongs to Ratan Chand Temple. In this picture the chief administrator of Punjab can be seen. This picture of 1894 belongs to the era when the use of such canopies was symbolic of glory and splendor for kings and emperors. In 1940, the uniform of the Indian soldiers in British army was something like you are watching in this photo. How advanced and developed this picture of Lahore of 1928 is. What is noteworthy is that hardly any house was color painted. This picture of the people crossing border after partition depicts the transport system of that time clearly. Despite having big vans and buses, people used to carry all the luggage on bullock carts. And this is the first Muslim lady pilot of India, Hijab Imtiaz. Just think, in 1936, two women could walk shoulder to shoulder with men in every field. In this picture, you are watching the most famous ghazal singer of 1940, Akhtari Bai Faizabadi. This pic was clicked during a performance in All India Radio. She is also known by the name Begum Akhtar. You can very well understand the standard of living of that time by having a look at this picture of the year 1900. This is the picture of 1920 decade showing the cannon which was listed in the most lethal cannons of the world apart from the cannon in this pic by having a look at the garden ground you can understand how easy and simple was the culture of that time and this is the picture of the year 1930 of the gymkhana club people are playing cricket in ordinary dresses neither pads nor gloves They are clad in a simple dhoti kurta, bad ball and enjoyment of the game. If at all there is something which has not changed, it's love for cricket in the minds of we Indians. This is the photograph of Indians protesting against the Simon Commission. It was clicked at the Mochi Gate. And this is the picture of Gateway of India of that time. Truly how tremendous change is there between then and now. And this is the photo of the brave revolutionary Sardar Bhagat Singh when he was arrested. A shackled Bhagat Singh 
wearing a smile on face that is expressing his desire to do something for the country. So friends, these were some rare pics of ancient India. Please do tell us how did you find these pics. Please share this video with as many friends as you can so that we all Indians can have these glimpses of ancient India. We hope that this video reaches every Indian. With that, allow your friend Neha Agarkar to say goodbye. Jai Hind!